Hello ladies, what's up? I am Pratha and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 26 perfumes that I have in my collection that are due for high-end designer perfumes. I did not realize that I have so many dupes in my collection. Actually, when I sat down to make a list of what all I have, that is when I realized that I actually have a lot of perfumes that are dupes. And I am happy to share this list with you, but there is something that I want to bring to your notice and that are the lenses that I'm wearing right now. I get a lot of questions from you guys guys about the lenses that I'm wearing and I am just so happy to tell you guys that this video is in collaboration with the third eye. They make beautiful contact lenses. If you want them just for the makeup looks point of view or even if you have some eyesight defects, all your contact lenses concerns are going to be covered by the third eye. Came in this beautiful cute little box here and the things that are inside are even cuter. They asked me what all I would like to pick from their website and I have to say once you go and visit their website you will find so many things. Right from from browns, greens, grays, blues, pinks, purples, and for fantasy looks as well. So they have a huge collection of lenses and lens colors going on. I have never seen that much of collection on any of the Indian websites, to be honest. The lenses come in these cute packagings and they are so generous to send in if they have sent me four pairs of lenses then they have also sent me four pairs of lens cases which is amazing the liquid is not included you'll have to buy that on your own but the cute thing about these is the teddy bears that you can use to keep in the cases to you know just uh recognize that which lens is what i think that's what that is for it also came with a mirror in it which is super thoughtful the packaging is really beautiful now talking about the lenses the ones that i'm wearing right now are the gray green lenses and i have really you know <laughs> pushed myself and because I've never used grey lenses before and I just feel that they won't go really well with my skin tone but these lenses are looking stunning they are super comfortable they are thin and comfortable to wear and they look very like natural they do not look like harsh lenses I've seen a lot of lenses that uh, look very harsh the edges are too harsh and they kind of look unnatural so these look very very natural after wearing and you can already see that how my eyes are looking even for your eyesight issues you will find every freaking lens on their website with numbers on them where you can choose that what's the power you want to go for there is such a huge range to choose from that it almost gets difficult to <laughs> pick one so yeah I too had to go through so many things it took me so much time to pick out these four aside from the green gray lenses I have the shade caramel brown in them then I have polar lights yellow green now this one was a little too light and a little a little too dramatic for me to be putting on uh, but yes I'll definitely show you what they look like then I have vanilla brown and all these pairs of lenses have the duration of one year so I can use them happily for one year straight or if there are any ones that I do not open have the expiry date of 2027 so i think you must consider if you're looking for something in particular i so wish i had those heart-shaped lenses i have if i've got those um that would have been so dreamy to look at because there were some pink ones in the heart-shaped and the purple ones the website is just really interesting to go through. I will highly recommend you that you go and check it out. And if you buy anything, I will have the link down below in the description so that it's easier for you to find the Third Eye Lenses website. And they have given me an exclusive discount code, which is PRAT15 for 15% discount. So do check them out and enjoy shopping with them with 15% off using my discount. And now, without any further ado, let's get into this video and talk about these dupes. Before we start, I want to tell you that in this video, I am only going to talk about the perfume dupes that I have, the body mist dupes. That is going to be a separate video in itself because I already have so much 
stuff to talk about right here. The first designer perfume dupe I want to talk about is Baccarat Rouge 540. It has so many dupes in the market, but sadly, we do not have enough dupes in our market to grab those. And whatever we have got, have got very late. The first dupe that I have is from Paris Corner and that is Pandora Rouge. Now this perfume you will find on Perfume Addiction because checking the website out, I noticed that they have brought back Paris Corner perfumes. So in that, it, just in case you want to get your hands on this, you can buy it from there. But if that's not what you want, but I really like this perfume for some reason. I just find it to be very very uh, calming and very pleasant sweet cotton candy like very fluffy cloudy sweet kind of fragrance without any harshness sharpness or muskiness that would ruin it so i really like it and really have really enjoyed it and that's why i'm all the way half ways down with it but since i have so many other things to use it's always difficult to go back to the same perfumes again and again so i do spray it here and there these days but it's not like my go-to perfume but back in the days i have used it so much i i have even used it as a pillow spray for myself because it's so calming and so good so yes it's a very like a lighter and a non-medicinal or a non-herbal version of Baccarat Rouge 540 for sure. Another dupe for the same is Red Temptation from Zara and I have a tester here for that. Now in my personal opinion I think Zara Red Temptation is a better option to go for because it's easier in availability right now. You can find it in Zara stores or on Zara website or app. It's not really possible for me to leave links for everything down there. So yeah, that's why I'm giving that information as we go through the video. So this is much more longer lasting. This line in particular from Zara is very long lasting. That's a plus on this one because that one is not very long lasting or projective, but this is going to do the thing. This also does not come off as that herbally or uh, medicinal kind of fragrance to me it's also more like this cloudy sweet ozonic kind of fragrance so i think it's always better to go for a fragrance which is more easily available and i would highly recommend that you go for zara red temptation if you're looking for a baccarat rouge 540 dupe next designer perfume that we're going to talk about is scandal and or Scandal by Night because I have a dupe which is more close to Scandal by Night which is Police Shocking Scent uh, and this really is shocking. One, it's shocking to open the bottle because it's really pokey and it literally digs into the fingers when opening it and it's also tight. It's not like a easy to pull out kind of cap. This fragrance is very sweet more like this tuberose dripping with honey kind of fragrance it has this floraliness to it i smell less of that patchouli but more of this honey dripping florals tuberose in particular and this is a very very long lasting fragrance it can go on you for two days it's a very modern very sexy and sweet kind of winter fragrance this one in particular you will find it both in the price range of 1000 rupees and 2000 rupees if you want to go for a full bottle you'll find it in 199 if you go for a 30 ml you'll find it in 990 rupees or something i'll try finding links for it uh wherever i could so yeah it's a very very close and effective and very loud and long lasting dupe of scandal by night the next designer perfume that we're talking about is jimmy choo and uh and this tube you guys pushed me to buy it and you requested for it so much that i had to buy it and that is tales by skin titan some of you claim that it stays very long on you some of you say that it does not stay on you personally on me it does not stay that long maybe like just for one and a half or two hours nothing more than that it's not an exact dupe for Jimmy Choo. It's more like a lighter version of it, like an, I don't know, EDT version to an EDT version. I don't know, something like that. It's like a very, very light version of that. It does have a lot of similarity with it. It definitely has that similar kind of sweetness and a similar kind of, you know, 
powdery sweetness and uh, vanilla going on in the base definitely that with a fresh fruity opening and patchouli to make it different and sexy so it does have all of that going on in it but you know what i feel about it is that this kind of dna has been done quite a lot times in the market so i'm not really gravitating towards this dna anymore but if you don't have anything such which is a patchouli like fruit patchouli and a sweet combination if you don't have anything like that in your collection then you can consider this but there are other things coming in which is kind of similar to this dna so keep watching the video till the end okay so the next one that we are going to talk about is a very very famous dupe which is la vie belle and the dupe for it is red vanilla my 200 ml bottle i recently sold it out and my 30 ml bottle i gifted it to my mom it's a very very close dupe of la vie belle for sure and falls in the same patchouli family category jimmy choo is like on the powdery patchouli side of things this on the other hand is this um you know fresher and a lighter take on a patchouli fragrance for sure and that is exactly what you get in red vanilla red vanilla again is not a very very long lasting fragrance but is definitely a good impressive sexy one which clearly impressed the men a lot for some reason i don't know why and another dupe that i have that was sent over to me to try is sr perfumes uh, so this is a dupe house and they try doing the best of what they are doing and this also is a very very close dupe of la vie belle but more like a slightly flattened version all their perfumes come off as slightly flattened version of the dupes so when dupes are lighter version of the original this is like a more flattened version of it but in case you don't want to buy red vanilla you can buy this dupe for 600 rupees for 100 ml and it's also pretty close to red vanilla from zara i can definitely claim that because there are not all the dupes from essa perfumes are that good but some are and that are going to be mentioned in this video for sure next highly famous designer perfume is carolina herrera's good girl i always say that it's not my vibe i really don't go for it or you know i'm crazy for it for some reason i don't know i used to be but as my perfume collection grew and i um you know fell more into the complex and the more mature ones that is more on the lines of sexy flirty and party kind of fragrance and that's not my vibe anymore for some reason and i have two dupes for it right here with me the first one is rini bloom which is a super super affordable fragrance in india it's kind of like a lighter and a synthetic version of carolina herrera good girl for sure i won't call it a spot on dupe i would rather call it a synthetic and lighter version of it so i'm not that impressed with bloom but i don't get the hype around it because if given a choice i would go for the other dupe that i have which is deep garden from zara and this is a perfume which is so so beautiful and for the price i think it's just amazing it has this beautiful white floraliness in it along with that sweetness not exactly the cacao note but that powdery sweetness that carolina herrera has along with a little bit of muskiness oh this is deeper sweeter more beautiful more appealing and better quality not synthetic like i'm not saying that you can compare the quality of carolina herrera and this i'm not saying that but compared between these two i think you must go for deep garden if better quality perfume is your priority because i feel that this is even longer lasting and deeper and richer compared to rini rini just comes off as a very super affordable but on the synthetic lines kind of do for me in case of quality next is a summer perfume and that is a david of cool water it's quite famous among a lot of you a lot of you really really like it i personally am not 
an aquatic fragrance lover that to a simple aquatic and this is a very very fresh detergent like aquatic fragrance like by the sea but maybe some laundry drying out by the sea or something like that and the air is smelling of the sea the sky and the detergent so that is what it smells like to me and very very close and not just lighter but a thicker version of it which is a very recent purchase of mine is Iba Halal Raindrops so these two are very very similar and um, Iba Halal is like a long lasting thicker denser kind of fragrance but is a very close dupe of David of cool water and this is also very very affordable and will go on because it's a perfume oil it's not a perfume it's a perfume oil which is higher in concentration and it's gonna last you a very long time even this tiny bottle is going to do that to you so it's a great good quality affordable long lasting dupe of David of cool water next up we have pure excess from Paco Rabanne you know how much I love this fragrance and that I am a sucker for amber fragrances in the winter time and right now the days are hot so it's just kind of burning my nose with its warmth. It's a fragrance with a beautiful caramel popcorn note in the opening but then has the amber vanilla and saltiness in the base which at the same time kind of makes it a leaning gourmand fragrance but then also keeps it sexy warm so it's not exactly a gourmand but definitely on the lines of gourmand not exactly a dupe but something uh, in the same lines that I have is Blossom Blush from Zara now this is like a lighter version maybe like a flanker of pure excess for sure it has this clear caramelized popcorn note to it in the opening with some cherry blossom florals lovely okay so this i definitely cannot put on in the summer times but this for sure and i don't know why i'm just feeling like putting it on me right now oh it's beautiful guys so it's not exact dupe but has the similar kind of vibe like that of pure excess and i really enjoy this guys and i think now that summers are coming in i'm gonna use it again and really enjoy this sweet floraliness with that smooth buttery popcorn background and um yeah i really like it i don't know whether it's available on the website right now or not i have not checked it really but yes in case it gets available and you want something like that don't miss out on this fragrance here next tube that we are going to talk about is from viva la juicy and the one that i have with me is pink flambe from zara now this is a very very yummy this is a very juicy lychee and white chocolate fragrance with a bit of muskiness in the base now this is a very girly and beautiful i don't know somehow pink sort of fragrance but in a very juicy and sweet white chocolatey way so i think it is very much available and if you're looking for something like that you can definitely go for this the only downside of this fragrance is that it cannot stay on you for too long just a two hour longevity but comparing the prices on vivilla juicy and this i think that's fair enough because you don't get a very synthetic quality with zara fragrances you actually get quite good quality if you ignore the opening alcoholiness in them and don't put your nose into the fragrance right after spraying then it becomes bearable and yeah if you don't have any nasal tract infections and the metallic muskiness in the zara perfumes does not put you off then you're good to go with these dupes for sure the next dupe that i have is of lady million from paco Rabanne again the first one is Zara Gold Woman. This is a beautiful strawberry soapy sweet fragrance with a lot of muskiness in the base and I quite enjoy it a lot in the summertime and I love the shape of the bottle. I have to say that it does not come in the same shape anymore but I really loved this shape of the bottles from Zara and I really hope that they bring these back but yes Zara Gold Woman is very much available on the website right now and you can buy it for sure and the second tube that I have for Lady Million is Seductive from Body Cupid now this again is a very very sweet soapy strawberry kind of fragrance like this sweet fruitiness with soapiness and muskiness to it but I just personally feel that it is 
even more thicker and denser com- and sweeter compared to woman gold for some reason i don't know why that's happening and it's even lesser in price we'll find it in the price point of 500 600 rupees or if it's a sale going on you'll find it even 450 rupees i don't know but yeah this you will not find any less than 1000 rupees so i just leave the decision to you that which one you want to go for the next dupe that i have is for chanel lore and that is hot from benetton i am so happy to tell you that it's again available on amazon i too myself bought it from amazon if i'm not wrong i don't remember that much okay so uh yeah these are a few websites that i buy from mintra nike amazon perfume addiction anything where i find a good deal i just buy it amazon i rely more on the brands that are easily available in india so for that i definitely rely on amazon because of the delivery services uh, but other than that if it's a designer i go for the rest of the three so benetton hot is a very beautiful warm citrusy woody fragrance it has cedar wood in the base it has a burst of bergamot and very citrusy but never comes off as a super fresh citrus it's just a dense warm citrus right from the very starting it has amber and woodiness in the base which kind of makes it a super beautiful professional classy kind of fragrance for sure and it's an all weather fragrance because the citrusiness balances the amber and woodiness and and vice versa so yeah beautiful fragrance and a spot on dupe for chanel allure for sure the next dupe is for a very expensive designer perfume which is mon guerlain by guerlain and the dupe that i have is just another designer but it's affordable kind of affordable and that is guess seductive noir Now this is a very very beautiful floral but plasticky cosmetic fragrance which turns into a powdery vanilla in the base and I just love wearing this fragrance every now and then especially if I am going out in the evening somewhere because this gives me very evening vibes it's more like an all year round fragrance but definitely for the evening times for an evening date with your husband or with your partner or whatever or even for attending some weddings so that kind of vibe it has i think it can also make a very good bridal fragrance for sure if you like that kind of fragrances that are different and unique and you want to just smell unique on your day instead of just smelling pretty cute florally or sweet So if you want to go in a different direction this can be a very good unique blend for you there is absolutely nothing not to like it so yes that's a dupe for mon guerlain by guerlain now next perfume is chanel mademoiselle and i have some dupes here with me that i'm going to talk about the first dupe that i have for it is a very obvious one which is armas club de nuit this is a total package this fragrance can last on you for two days three days i don't know how long it's a very long lasting very out there very very projective beast mode kind of fragrance for sure it's a beautiful blend of peach citrus and slight bit of sweetness along with some muskiness woody powderiness and patchouli there are a lot of things going on in this perfume it's just like a very complex and classy perfume for sure and it's very loud and very projective and very long lasting but i think the prices on this have kind of gone up right now but i just feel that it's a great it's some perfume for some reason and i thoroughly enjoy it though i have used it quite a lot but because i do not require too many sprays that's why you don't see any big of a dent in it a value for your money kind of dupe for sure the next dupe that i have is again from sa perfumes now the thing about sa perfumes is that again it's a flattened version i just feel like that they work with three notes itself and that's why these fragrances come off as lighter and kind of flattened but if but if this is something a little too much for you to take because it does get on my nerves sometimes as well though i'm so used to using perfumes and everything so in that case uh esa perfumes coco mademoiselle dupe is kind of something for you if you want a lighter and softer version of it which has 
less complexity to it yeah so you can definitely go for it it's not as sweet and not as out there as this but it will give you the similar kind of peachy citrusy vibe along with that woody muskiness in the base for sure the next perfume is khayali deja vu so i've not personally tried it anywhere because i've never found it in sephora or anywhere a long time ago i heard kasaiya talk about this perfume as a dupe for Kayali and I just love keeping things transparent here that where I get my information from and I do not mind mentioning other YouTubers and the perfume that we're talking about is Roberto Cavalli's original. Now the thing is that this too in itself is around a 4000 rupees perfume if you buy it from perfume addiction which is quite a good website to buy your perfumes from because you get authentic things from there and you will never find anything fishy about them i have bought from them quite some times that's why i can say that i have absolutely no personal connections with them at all it's just that i like their prices and their genuine products that's why and uh, Khayali Deja Vu, I'm pretty sure, is around 10,000 or 11,000 rupees perfume, but you will find this on their website for 4,000 rupees if I round it up. And this, I always say, that is a very, very beautiful orange blossom vanilla fragrance, which is uh, with pink peppercorns, which is like walking money you'll smell like a rich woman if you put this on and i always say this about it and i really enjoy it in the summer times just like fairy tale from bath and body works if uh, you put your nose onto it the orange blossom and the pink peppercorn mixing in comes off as sharp but when you put it on when you actually wear it as a fragrance it just kind of you know mixes in really beautifully and blends in beautifully and just comes off as a smooth but slightly spicy but kind of a fresh vanillic fragrance it's beautiful in the air trust me on that so yes i can totally believe kasaiya on that this is a dupe for khayali deja the next perfume dupe we're talking about is ysl black opium and the dupe is zara gardenia I till date love this fragrance a lot. This was among the first few fragrances from Zara that I bought when I started the perfume reviews on my channel. And I always thought that I might get bored of it and might just keep it in a corner. But that has not happened, guys. I still love this powdery, uh, woody powdery coffee kind of fragrance along with a lot of sweetness to it i still love it a lot and i still wear it here and there and i still enjoy it exactly the same way as i used to enjoy it in the initial days and i have not got bored of it it's definitely simple it's nothing groundbreaking or very unique or out there kind of fragrance it just goes really well with my senses for some reason i really really enjoy it so if you don't have the money for ysl black opium or you don't want to buy ysl black opium because of the reason that it does not perform that well you can definitely go for zara gardenia because it's sweeter and it's longer lasting now this one i'm just gonna pass through it super quick and the fragrance that i'm talking about is joyful tuberose from zara now i just feel that tuberose and joyful tuberose are pretty much the similar kind of fragrances fresh but kind of powdery vanilla with a uh, muskiness and citrusiness to it like it starts off with citrus but that citrus very much comes down to the base as well and it smells like a uh, citrusy but slightly sweet vanillic powdery kind of fragrance with muskiness so uh when on Curly Scent's channel, they were trying this fragrance. They said that it's a dupe for some of the Narciso. I'm not sure which one. So that's why I just wanted to mention it, that if you're looking for a classy and musky Narciso kind of vibe, then you can definitely consider this one. Next perfume is Hypnotic Poison from Dior. And it's a super expensive perfume. We all know that. The first ever dupe that I got for it was Police Forbidden. And I just sprayed it in the morning today just to check that is it, if it is the similar kind of nasty fragrance that I was getting initially. But I think after keeping it for a bit for 
one or two years it has definitely got better the syntheticness has toned down in it and it's coming off as a better fragrance on my skin right now and it's a super almondy nutty kind of i don't know it's just super warm and nutty kind of fragrance my skin has the tendency of enhancing the syntheticness in fragrances so probably that's the reason so it's not coming off as that nasty on my skin right now uh, the winter time has gone now and i really cannot think of of putting it on and it's time for some summer fragrances so yes but still i need to mention it the other one that i find to be very close and to be like a lighter sweeter version of hypnotic poison is flower power from fragonote now this fragrance first of all has a very very impressive packaging with a wooden cap and everything but it's a floral fragrance with a nuttiness and warmth to it but not too warm and a lot of sweetness to it so yes i just feel that somewhere not exactly but kind of just matching the vibe of hypnotic poison for some reason because the base notes on this and hypnotic poison there is a lot of similarity between these two and it's quite nutty and sweet and warm at the same time like if i compare these two I like the quality on Fragonaut a lot more. There is just like a one or two seconds of alcoholiness in the opening and it does not come off as a synthetic fragrance, but it's like lighter and it's not like a very projective, like a medium projective fragrance and a medium longevity like three, four hours kind of longevity kind of fragrance for sure. The next designer we are talking about is Signorina Misteriosa from Salvatore Ferragamo. Okay, so this is a very beautiful bubble gummy blackberry, super sweet, super powdery vanilla fragrance. And I just personally really like it, really enjoy it. This has been such a great pick for me because it's like a no brainer to me. And I find it to be more appropriate for date nights, for romantic times and for going out when I don't know what to put on. I just love grabbing this and putting it on myself, but not in the summer times. It's just a little too sweet and powdery for the summer times. Like the combination of that sweetness and powderiness is a little too much for a hot day. I have two dupes for this and that is a very new launch from Plum which is Plum Everything Plum. And this fragrance is like a spot on dupe for the one that I just mentioned and it's amazing. It's also long lasting. It's super projective. It's super out there and I'm really impressed with what Plum has come up with. We do not mind some good quality dupes at all be it any brand um, because not always do we want to buy designers and the other dupe that I have like with that one is like plum is like a very affordable dupe like a super affordable dupe of Salvatore uh, but the one that I'm talking about next is like a lighter version of it and more appropriate for the summer times if you want to go for a sweet powdery vanillic um fragrance but for the summertime then you must consider fabulous sweet from zara this is again a very very um you know sweet powdery beautiful kind of fragrance for the summers and light and lifted kind of fragrance for sure you know instead of that berries note in the opening or a bubble gummy note it has a bit of like orangey citrusiness in the opening which is kind of making it lighter and lifting it and making it more appropriate for the summertime it's really impressive guys i really like the quality on this for sure uh if you if i want to compare the quality longevity whatever the this dna basically is quite long lasting and quite projective in itself so yes no complaints in that area up next is alien by moogler some love it some hate it i don't know i really like it for some reason it really goes well with my vibe and it really goes well with my senses for some reason. Uh, I like this fragrance on myself. And the one that is a very close dupe of this, like not like an exact dupe, but more like a lighter and sweeter version of this is Voided Blossom from Zara. And what a coincidence that even the color of the bottles is exactly same and it just kind of gives the same kind of vibe as much i love alien i equally love 
violet blossom now alien is a jasmine dominating fragrance but that jasmine is deep and dark and kind of rotten and is mixing in with the ebony wood and multiple woods basically in the base and it's a very kind of a dense jasmine woody but slightly powdery fragrance which later on gives a very very slight hint of sweetness after a few hours and that's what i get in here some say it smells like baby powder some just you know i don't know some call it a granny fragrance but um and that it's outdated but you know what a lighted lifted sweeter version of that is zara violet blossom this will come off as more youthful and not as you know powdery for sure perfect kind of fragrance to be rocking the entire year and you will definitely save on those bucks as well buying this instead of that so i still enjoy it a lot and it's still a very beautiful go-to fragrance for me till date next up we have tom ford noir de noir and the dupe that i have for it is club de nuit intense woman from armaf this is a very very out there unique oud fragrance for sure this oud does not come off as like super arabic to me like it has a twist to it and it has a little bit of that modernity to it i just cannot take away the arabic feel from oud for some reason like you cannot separate it you cannot just call an oud a very modern oud for some reason that i've never came across a perfume that has oud in it except a body mist from victoria secret so in case a perfume has oud in it it definitely would smell like a little arabic and on those lines for sure so it has the notes of rose and nutmeg black pepper and oud there are a lot of other things going on in it i think it also has patchouli yes so there are so many things happening in this but this is a very bold kind of sexy bold woody oudy spicy fragrance and it definitely falls in the category of a unisex fragrance for sure as much i would like to smell it on a bold woman who would like to smell unique and would not mind smelling slightly arabic i would equally like to smell it on a man and there are absolutely no doubts about that next up we have chanel eau tender and a very beautiful dupe and my go to fragrance till date is apple juice from zara very much available on the website i do need to back up this one in case i end up buying some perfumes from zara i'll definitely buy this one and back up this one for sure because i have less than half of the bottle left with me now i have used it crazy like back to back when it's a super hot day you just cannot think of using anything else except zara apple juice trust me on that so it's a beautiful powdery sweet uh, apple fragrance which is more like this green apple crispiness in it so it's really beautiful really refreshing uplifting and the perfect kind of classy summer fragrance in my opinion next up we have dolce and gabbana the one and the dupe that i have for it is black amber from zara again a fragrance which is very beautiful it has the notes of this one in particular has the notes of passion fruit vanilla and a lot of powderiness to it it just comes off as a very very sweet fruity powdery vanilla to me but not as the dense powdery vanilla more like this kind of airy powdery there is something about it okay so it's very very different from the powderiness that salvatore has the the powderiness in it is kind of light and lifted just like you know just floating in the air kind of powderiness i don't know how to explain that but yes it's definitely on the lighter side of things and it's really beautiful again a classy and warm kind of fragrance and i really enjoy this i'm all the way like half ways down with this i can see this the juice jumping in right here and go back to this again and again really really beautiful and really something to consider because it's very much available on the website the one that i'm going to talk about now i don't have the bottles with me but i used to have the bottles with me so the one that i'm talking about is bombshell from victoria secret the first dupe that i ever had for that was orchid from zara which is again very much available it's a very beautiful 
shampooy and fresh kind of fragrance it has the fruitiness in the opening and then a clean shampooiness with a lot of muskiness in the base so that muskiness was just getting a little too much for me and a little too sharp for me that's why i sold it out and the other dupe which is even more affordable compared to zara is plum tripping mimosas if you don't want to go for zara for any reason or sometimes when zara orchid is not available but you still want that shampooy fruity uh, you know bubbly a uh, fragrance dry plum stripping mimosas which is very close dupe of zara orchid a dupe to the dupe <laughs> yeah so go and try that because that won't hurt your pocket at all next dupe that i have is from montal rosies vanille and that is rose gourmand from zara it just looks like that i'm doing just another zara video but yes this is uh, like i just personally feel that along with that rose and vanilla it also has a bit of oud in the background going on it just falls in the similar kind of category like that of montal intense cafe so intense cafe also has this sweet rose going on in it and same as what is happening in here i get this damp woodiness in the base along with you know that sweet and uh, cold rose love the bottle i just wanted to sell it out i still want to sell it out because i know i'm not going to use this fragrance so it's a very close dupe of roses vanille from montal if anyone wants to buy it do message me on instagram because i know that no matter how much i like the bottle i'm never going to use this fragrance not because i hate it but because it's not my vibe for some reason the dampness in it puts me off and i can't handle it and it gives me headache so i can't use it so if you want it just let me know the next fragrance dupe that we're talking about is of fragrance du bois santal complet and that's demi rolling approved which is ck into you for her this is a beautiful citrusy zesty kind of fragrance in the opening which sits into a very gel like aloe vera sorry cactus note with vanilla in the base which kind of makes it smooth as it comes down and it's a very hard to explain kind of fragrance like i can say that it is it is a very zesty citrus with a smoothness in the background for sure just super classy super interesting and super good for putting on in the summer time i am just waiting for those hot days to come in so that i can put this one on because initially i was not that impressed with it when i bought it i just bought it because i saw it on demi rolling's channel but then when i used it a few times i was like wow this is impressing me like anything and i love it yeah so um but the downside of this fragrance is that even after paying around 3000 rupees you will not get the longevity from this but if you're looking for a smooth citrusy fragrance then this is definitely your juice to go for another fragrance dupe that i have with me is of la nuit tresor and that is <laughs> dark desire from rini now again i would like to point out that the syntheticness in it does put me off i just don't know i um i can't handle these fragrances i don't know who are the people who are just raving so much about them and saying that they are exactly same as the designers they do have the similar kind of feel and this also has the similar kind of feel like that of la nuit tresor for sure but it's uh, not the best quality just wanted to mention it because i have it and that sums up my list for designer perfume dupes i hope you found something for yourself because we have talked about so many dupes in this video and i hope you liked and enjoyed this video and if you're still here watching me and liking me don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up keep looking beautiful keep smelling good and have a great day all bye bye Mwah.